In a time long ago, when the earth trembled beneath the weight of fear and uncertainty, a humble family found themselves at the center of the greatest story ever told. It was the time when a baby, born in a small town called Bethlehem, was destined to change the world. This child was Jesus, the son of Mary and Joseph. But not everyone saw him as a blessing. Far away, in a grand palace, King Herod, a ruthless ruler, grew increasingly paranoid. He had heard whispers of a newborn king, a child who was destined to one day rule over all. The very thought of this child threatened his power, and so, in a fit of fear and cruelty, King Herod made a terrifying decision. He ordered what would later be called, the Massacre of the Innocents, the killing of every boy child in Bethlehem under the age of two. It was a dark time, as soldiers scoured the land, snatching away the hope and joy of many families. This story is derived from the Christian apocryphal gospels. Amidst this terror, the angels in heaven were watching. One of them, Uriel, a radiant and mighty archangel, was given a special task. Uriel, whose name means, God is my light, was a guardian of wisdom and a fierce protector of the righteous. He had been watching over the earth for many years, and now he was called to action. God, seeing the danger that loomed over his people, called Uriel. Go down to the earth, he commanded. Save the child John and his mother Elizabeth, for they too are part of the great story I am unfolding. John, though still a baby, was no ordinary child. He was Jesus' cousin, born to Elizabeth and Zachariah in their old age. His birth had been a miracle, foretold by an angel, and he would grow up to prepare the way for Jesus. But for now, he was just a baby, too young to know the danger that was fast approaching. Elizabeth, John's mother, was a woman of deep faith, but even her heart trembled with fear as news of Herod's decree spread. She knew that her precious child, John, was in grave danger. Fleeing to the hills with her son cradled in her arms, she sought refuge, praying to God for protection. It was then that Uriel appeared. In the stillness of the wilderness, as Elizabeth wept and clutched her child, a bright light descended from the heavens. Uriel, clothed in shimmering robes and with wings that stretched across the sky, stood before her. His presence was both awe-inspiring and comforting, like the warmth of the sun after a long, cold night. Do not be afraid, Uriel said, his voice gentle but full of authority. The Lord has heard your prayers. I am Uriel, sent to protect you and your son. Come with me, and I will lead you to safety. Elizabeth, filled with wonder and relief, stood up. She could feel the peace of God surrounding her as she placed her trust in the angel. Uriel, with a sweep of his magnificent wings, gently lifted her and baby John into his arms. They soared above the hills and valleys, far beyond the reach of Herod's soldiers, who scoured the land below, unaware that their quarry was no longer within their grasp. Uriel guided them toward Egypt, where Mary and Joseph had fled with the infant Jesus. It was a long journey, but with the angel's protection, Elizabeth and John arrived safely. The Holy Family was in hiding, taking refuge from the dangers of Herod's wrath. When Mary and Elizabeth saw each other, they embraced with tears of joy. They had been through so much, yet now they were reunited, their children safe in their arms. Joseph, ever watchful and protective, greeted them warmly. He had been warned in a dream by Angel Gabriel to flee to Egypt, and though the journey had been hard, he knew they were following God's plan. Now, with Elizabeth and John joining them, it felt as though the small family had grown, united in their shared faith and trust in God's protection. As time passed and the threat of Herod faded, the Holy Family prepared to return to their homeland. Herod had died, and the danger had passed. With the angel's guidance, they made their way back to the land of Israel, to Nazareth, where Jesus would grow up in wisdom and strength. And so, Elizabeth, John, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus returned to their homeland, their hearts full of hope and trust in the one who had guided them through such perilous times. Uriel, whose name means, God is my light, is one of the four archangels in Christian tradition, alongside Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Though not mentioned by name in the canonical Bible, Uriel appears prominently in apocryphal texts, where he is often portrayed as an angel of wisdom, prophecy, 
and protection. In this context, Muriel's role in saving John the Baptist ties into his role as a guardian and guide for humanity. According to apocryphal traditions, Muriel plays a crucial role in saving John the Baptist from the massacre of the innocents, an event described in the Gospel of Matthew. This massacre was ordered by King Herod, who, fearing the prophecy that a newborn king would challenge his reign, sought to kill all male infants in Bethlehem. While the canonical Gospel of Matthew focuses on the escape of the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, into Egypt, apocryphal sources provide an expanded narrative that includes the story of John the Baptist's escape. In these apocryphal accounts, Uriel is sent by God to protect John the Baptist, who was still an infant at the time, and his mother, Elizabeth. Uriel is depicted as carrying them to safety, ensuring that Herod's soldiers do not find them. This act of rescue is symbolic of God's divine plan for John the Baptist, who would later grow up to become the forerunner of Christ, preparing the way for Jesus' ministry by calling people to repentance and baptizing them in the Jordan River. Uriel's intervention in the apocryphal Gospels emphasizes his role as a protector, not just of individuals, but of God's larger plan for salvation. John the Baptist's survival was crucial, as he would later baptize Jesus and announce the coming of the Messiah. By carrying John and Elizabeth to safety, Uriel ensured that this key figure in the Christian narrative would live to fulfill his prophetic role. The Massacre of the Innocents is one of the most tragic events in the New Testament, described only in the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew 2 verses 16 to 18. It takes place shortly after the birth of Jesus when King Herod, learning from the Magi that a new king had been born, orders the killing of all male infants in Bethlehem under the age of two. Herod's paranoia and cruelty led to the deaths of countless innocent children, but the Holy Family was able to escape because Joseph was warned in a dream to flee to Egypt. While the canonical account focuses on Jesus' survival, the apocryphal Gospels expand on the fate of other key figures, such as John the Baptist. In these expanded accounts, Uriel's intervention ensures that John the Baptist does not fall victim to Herod's decree. The apocryphal tradition suggests that John's escape was part of a divine plan, much like the Holy Family's flight into Egypt. Uriel's role in these events highlights the idea that angels were actively involved in guiding and protecting those chosen by God for a special purpose. The flight into Egypt is a well-known story in Christian tradition. According to Matthew's Gospel, Joseph is warned in a dream by an angel to flee to Egypt with Mary and the infant Jesus because Herod is seeking to kill the child. This event fulfilled a prophecy from the Old Testament. Out of Egypt I called my son, Hosea 11 verse 1. While the canonical account focuses on the journey of the Holy Family, apocryphal gospels add details about other figures who were also under divine protection during this time. John the Baptist's escape with his mother, Saint Elizabeth, is one such story. Thank you for your support.